Hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training video in today's video I'm going to be briefly covering day trading using range charts and also what I believe are the best red flag new sites as we get underway I do need to put up the risk disclaimer if you're new to my channel if you're if you haven't read one of my disclaimers of some time please do review the risk disclaimer uh, pause the video and make sure you do read it there is a risk in trading and as we get underway also if you haven't already obtained my free ebook truth about day trading in the description link below under this video you'll be able to click on and request my free ebook for truth about day trading and or my free training manual discover how we trade the futures Forex and stock market so please feel free to uh, down click on the down let me get this right click on the download link in the description below thank you so let's start with red flag economic reports it's absolutely essential that at the start of every day we review the news what is coming out that is I'm not a big one on actually watching the news watching for breakouts etc because the uh, the news readers when it comes to financial news they are quite often pushing their own personal view news is delayed etc so I don't watch the news channels however what I am interested in here particularly as a day trader I'm interested in what red flag news may be coming out or what major news may be coming out for the day that may affect the market that I'm trading so the two best that I really prefer are forexfactory.com and econoday.com. Now with forexfactory.com, you'll find that most forex traders or many, many, perhaps I should say, will use Forex Factory. But what if you're a futures trader? Well, I would refer to both. And here is why. If you trade gold, for an example, that can be heavily impacted upon what is happening in the Forex market. So I think it's very important that on a daily basis, before you start each day, that you review your news, uh, you, you jot out in your trading journal any red flag news announcements that may be coming out. So let's just quickly visit them. So what we're looking at here is forexfactory.com. Now, once again, I believe every trader should be review, reviewing, let me get this right, reviewing this um, particular site. And one thing though, you will see here the date and you've then got the time. So depending on where you are located in the world, you may have to adjust the time. Now, for an example, I'm based in Australia, so I'll need to go and adjust that. So in this particular case, actually, or you can just simply go, uh, where is it here? Match automatically to your computer clock, which is what I've just done. Okay, so I'm recording. I'll go back. Uh, so it's 424 p.m. here. So I know go, I'll now go back to the calendar. And here we go. So this gives me all the red flags for the week. Very, very important that we take notice of the red flags. And we can see here, for an example, a ton of them later on the week in USA. So let's now have a look at a Econo Day. Now, in this particular case, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to see the Monday, which is off to the left because it's going off the screen off the PowerPoint slide size here. And we can see tomorrow being the 4th of July, the main markets are closed. And we can see then Wednesday, so we can see FOMC minutes at 2. So I'm really interested in these red flags and I want to be very wary of trading these. Now, I actually will probably do a video specifically for my members on which of the red flags we really want to be um, uh, really notice for an example the jobless claims is uh, not much of a needle mover nowadays so there are some that are marked up as red flags but barely move the market we don't have to be too concerned but some of them such as here the petroleum report at 11 on Thursday we definitely need to uh, be aware of and if uh, and as a CL trader which we are uh, we want to really make sure that we're out of a market I recommend at least 15 minutes beforehand now let's remember that normally the petroleum report the inventory report comes out at 10 30 on Wednesdays but whenever we have a short week uh, they make it Thursdays at 11 so that's why you don't see it there traders at 10 30 they've moved it so 15 minutes beforehand you want to make sure you place no trades on CL during that time and usually 10 to 15 minutes after and that really comes down to the speed of the market so just getting back to our PowerPoint let's just go back here you then got INO you got briefing.com if you're more into stocks that may be a they may be also be great channels for you to review 
so let's now go back to our next section that we all want to quickly cover and that's discussing range charts many of my members and clients know that when it comes to short-term trading and I am a day trader I'm a fan of using either volume tick charts and range charts rather than the, the traditional time-based charts like the 1 3 5 15 minutes etc I will look at a five minute on one on a separate screen just to just really looking at trading ranges because sometimes if you're in a range a trading range that is using a range chart or a volume it's not particularly a tick chart actually it's it's not so obvious so it's good to have maybe a five and a 15 minute there that you refer to just to check overall market direction but getting back to trading I love uh, range charts specifically on Forex now usually when I'm trading the futures markets I'll use tick charts that's sort of my preference uh, I also by the way love volume charts on futures but when it comes to Forex specifically I'm a real fan of range charts so if we look at them we've got time-based charts now time-based charts candles are formed within a specific period of time tick candles are formed within a specific number of ticks that's the number of trades not the volume of each of those trades but the number of trades volume candles are formed within a specific amount of volume tick and volume they look very similar and and both work absolutely brilliantly and then of course we get to range and Renko now I also do like Renko and we've done a lot of research on Renko in the past and one thing that I don't like I which I suppose is same in a way with with um, a little with range but with Renko I lose some of the information that I'm after so my preference there is range so candles are formed within a specific price range now in a moment I'm going to uh, show you uh, and we'll point a couple of things out on the charts for you so there are three rules of range ch range charts or bars if you like each range bar must have a, a high low range it equals a specific range so say if you're trading Forex and you're choosing to use a four range which is four pips every candle is the same size each range bar must open outside the high low range of the previous bar and you'll see that in a moment on the chart and each range bar must close at either its high or low and you'll see that as well now there is something for members that are watching this I do also want to point out and that is on uh, in the members area you will see that there is a folder uh, in my Google Drive called new member downloads now if you go down to new member downloads out of many of the downloads that you've got there I have uh, put together a PDF of my preferred chart settings now it's also in one of the emails that you receive uh, that you can download on my site but if you just want to go to that folder that is new member downloads you'll see my preferred uh, chart settings so you can go and, and look at that now the other thing I'd like to point out is that I love trading what we call the rule of two the rule of two and in the members area you will find there that we've got a PowerPoint specifically on trading the rule of two so it's printable so you can download the PowerPoint and just one more thing before you go to the charts under the trading strategy video links um, and for non-members by the way we have now over 300 videos um, uh, in our series uh, you'll find there a video also on trading the rule of two so let's now go back to the PowerPoint and actually we'll go straight to the slides so what I've got here in front of you we've got the euro dollar now as I mentioned I really love um, range charts on uh, on the forex markets and they just to me just work really well probably because you get some great trends now so on the left here I've got an 89 tick chart so of course um, uh, you may like to trade uh, an 89 tick a 144 a 233 or which are 377 610 all of which are fib numbers whatever you really like trading and that's a big question that comes up and even under my downloadable um, PDF there of my preferred uh, trading times for all markets it really comes down to the speed of the market and what you feel comfortable if you're an active day trader uh, 
you may even not want to even trade with a full range here which I've got on my left or even on the uh, sorry an 89 tick and I've got a full range on the right here you may need to even drop that down to maybe a 55 tick or a three range it really comes down to the speed of the market so what is my preferred time frame well on the euro market particularly on the forex market I love the 89 tick but of course I need to cross reference with the red flag news announcements because I need to make sure of course that I'm not in the market when a red flag comes out and that by the way that's something that I still see uh, particularly new traders getting caught with every week gee was why did I get stopped out why did it go through my stop it's because they're not checking red flags now of course there are um, announcements that comes out or news that comes out that we weren't aware of of course we can all get trapped but it's very important you check your red flag and then it gets back to your time frame so my preferred time frame on trading the Forex market let's go from this tick chart or fully expand, expand this now is I prefer range charts the full range now for my members that know the rule of two you'll see you've got a rule of two there rule of two rule of two rule of two it just works over here you've got rule of two rule of two um, here you've got a t1 so it makes up for you don't actually have a rule of two until to there so if you're a scalper it can work really well so the preferred time frames for me I really like on the euro dollar I really like the full range if I want to slow it down I might jump up to a five six or a seven range now there is one thing I must mention with range bars and it's this normally when I'm trading I always use a uh, an anchor chart of three times higher than the time frame I am trading with the exception of range bars because the way they're actually formed they're formed on a range in price that means that my anchor chart must be um, 1.7 times higher not three times higher so therefore if I'm trading a full range on Forex my anchor chart will be seven range it's very very important most of you know the importance of having a time frame three times higher and the reasons for it if you're trading range it, it must be the 1.75 formula to actually make it work the way I trade so uh, back on the range so range it just is really on Forex I really like it it by the way it works equally as well on stocks uh, it works very well on the on the futures markets uh, as long as you have a trending market okay my preferred uh, I do prefer tick and the volume on the futures markets so traders hopefully that's just giving you a brief rundown um, uh, on range now if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do mobile even best of all join the day traders fast track program with me myself and now in the thousands of members around the world for $197 you obtain my 12 top day trading and swing trading strategies as I mentioned there's over 300 videos is a massive library um, of resources there now it's the most comprehensive program in the world today for $197 on my home page you can watch a video where I cover everything that's included in the day traders fast track program and unless you want to join the chat room there is there's no other up so there's nothing else to buy you won't be contacted by telemarkers etc 197 dollars is it so traders go to my uh, subscribe visit my channel and i look forward to having you as a member and i certainly hope that you picked up a few ideas out of today's video thank you <music>